Karina Reutfeld is okay with the fact that patchouli, the dominant note in her eponymous new perfume, is utterly polarizing. The heady ingredient with the grungy hippie backstory isn't for everyone, and that's a major reason why she loves it so much. It's a bit free spirited like me, says the French sky icon, who has fond memories of scouting for patchouli essence, years ago, in the Indian import stores of Paris. I think people have such strong reactions to it because it's distinct, like how they walk past a cafe and suddenly want a fresh cup of coffee. I believe patchouli invokes adventure and suddenly make one brave enough to live out there and visit. Royfeld, who held me from Paris for a decade, was Tom Ford's styling agent of Hockey for years and is now overseeing the publishing, content creation, and perfume empire that includes CR Fashion Book, CR Studio and a range of fragrances dubbed Seven Lovers, christened her latest scent card. She considers it her most personal project to date. of creating carving to walking down the Shalms and Louis A. Darker, perhaps a nod to the 2019 AD for the debut of Carina Roy Fell for Pop, in which she appeared completely new. I wanted to create an irrelevant fragrance that people didn't expect, something sensual and unpredictable, like how I create my fashion editorials and put together an outfit. Working in collaboration with perfumer Dominique Dovey, the creator of such selling scents as Victor and Raw Flower Bomb and Yves Saint Laurent, Roy Fell's theory and court obsession she wanted to see realized in scent form. Case in point, Cashmere. He introduced me to Cashmere Land, she says, a complex synthetic ingredient so named for its ability to impart something of the softness of cashmere. Notes in her namesake fragrance, available at carinaroyfeld.com, 50 Paris and Paris in the UK, include Vetiver, Jasmine, Gardenia and a splash of spices. To promote her new labor of love, Royfeld sat for photographer Max by Gunther, a long-time editorial collaborator. I trusted him to capture the intricacies of the fragrance through his land. I'm always delighted with his work, and he was able to bring out the side that I didn't recognize before. I feel powerful, sexy, and extremely proud of the work I've put in over the last several decades to be in a place where I am now. Clad in head to toe purple and lavender, with a sliver of ruby satin bra peeking out, she says the stripped down version of the Karina Reut failed people have come to know in the campaign imagery mirrors the journey she went on while creating the perfume. With Karina, I've opened the door to my emotions, memories, thoughts, dreams and fantasy. It's a very vulnerable thing to do, but also very cathartic. Now 67 and a grandmother, Reut Fell says she's faithful to her Paris-based facialist. Stayed with strong with boxing and ballet classes, and has zero intention of diving back on her edgy sartorial style. Who says you can't wear something just because you're over a certain age? I never follow the rules, and I won't be starting anytime soon. And really, why switch gears when you pretty much hashtag goals personified? Somebody recently commented on one of my Instagram posts saying, I want to age like Karina. That may 